Hey everybody, Chris here from Big Sports News, back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a super quick recap as to what happened during today's matches, my time, that of course being Saturday's matches or day three of the stage three major, as well as what you guys can expect going to Championship Sunday or day four of the stage three major, of course hosted by the Toronto Ultra. So without further ado, let's get right into the bracket. So looking at my pickums, um, yeah, they're chalked, as we all know. Uh, everybody's pickums are chalked at this point. This tournament's been absolutely nuts. Um, so looking at how we started off today, we of course kicked things off with Ultra taking on the Rocker. And you guys know I thought the Ultra would win the Battle of the North with a 3-2. And I had Ultra making the run through the loser's bracket. If you didn't see that, then I will link yesterday's video in the description down below. But yeah, I had Ultra going all the way through. I didn't have them winning 6-0, obviously. I had them winning 3-1 over Thieves and 3-2 over Subliners in my uh, bracket. I thought Ultra would have, you know, a really outstanding performance at this major um, just because they were doing all the right things going into it. But I digress. So looking at our 130 matchup, uh, the Ultra just smoked the Rocker. They just looked really good and they handled business. I mean, there's not really a lot of like critical analysis to offer. Their S&D looked really good. Their hard point looked really good. And their control looked really good. They were just a perfect counter to the rocker from beginning to end. Now in our next matchup, we of course had the Florida Mutineers take on the Seattle Surge. You guys know I was expecting the Surge to take this one, um, but I was expecting it to be a 3-2, I believe. I might have said 3-1. No, I think I said 3-1. I think I was actually spot on with that. But yeah, I was expecting the Surge to take it just because I was more convinced with uh, their performance throughout the stage three major thus far and just stage three in general, right? Um, Mutineers won that tiebreaker series between themselves and Thieves where Thieves were accused of throwing and it was just controversial and like really sticky. So um, that's why I didn't have too much faith in the Mutineers in this tournament, but of course they beat Optics. So um, yeah, looking at our next matchup after the subliners, excuse me, subliners, Surge versus Mutineers match. That was a really, uh, it was an interesting matchup between the Surge and Mutineers, just to get back on that for a second. But it definitely wasn't like the kind of series where I would recommend that people necessarily go back and watch it. Like it was, it was interesting if you, you know, love COD like I do and you just want to check it out. But it's not a must see series by any account. Um, in the next matchup, we of course had my home team. Atlanta phase, you know, you know, Leon taking dubs left, right, and center, taking on the LA Thieves. Um, and yeah, it was a, br <clears throat> excuse me, it was a brutal 3 0. I think it was 250 to 138 on Gav, uh, 6 0 on Berlin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely 6 0. I think it was on Berlin. It might have been, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was on Berlin. Um, and then a 3 0 in the control. So it was, Maybe it's a 3-1. I'm pretty sure it was a 3 0. It was a really dominant performance from FaZe. And yeah, that's pretty much all that can be said. Thieves just got flatlined and then they came diffy afterwards. It was odd. So then in our next series, we of course had the Florida Mutineers who dropped from, of course, winners round two, where they lost to the Seattle Surge, dropping down to elimination round three, where they faced the home team, the Toronto Ultra, and they got smoked. Absolutely smoked. 3-0. I mean, Ultra just said, you've been naughty. Did a little smack. And uh, sent him right home. Said, go home. Go home. Bye. Don't look at you anymore. I mean, that's pretty much all I can say about the series. It was just a 3-0 mopping. Like, it wasn't... There's not much analysis to offer. It wasn't close. Like, just got smoked. And then in our last match of the day... What the hell, man? Like, what the hell? So just setting the stage, um, it was a 2v2. What round was it? It had to be round six because it was 4-1 in favor of Optic. Dashy falls off the map. Shotzi runs it. Envoy and Kenny, I think, were the two people who were up. No, Octane and Kenny were the two people who were up. And then he gets pieced. And then Optic loses round seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. 
And then they go into Berlin Control, a map where I believe they're attacking win rate is like 75% or something absurd. Like they always win attacking rounds. Like if there's an attacking round with Optagon Berlin Control, the chance of you stopping them on that map, they're very low. Um, so they didn't want to control a uh, round, I don't think, apart from one defense. Yeah, I mean, it was just a bad showing altogether. Um, the Thieves just spanked them. Or was it a 3-2? I don't think it was a 3-2. I think it was a 3-1. It was so crazy. I just, I, I forgot in so much sense. But yeah, I mean, it was just, it was bizarre. And then they lost Tuscan Hardpoint, which was like, Huh? Like, how does Optic lose Tuscan Hardpoint? So it's just it's just a wild series. I mean, you see, I'm struggling to explain it. I I I just don't understand what happened. I still don't understand when I was watching. Um, the thieves got 3-0'd by phase and like completely, completely molly whopped. Like molly whopped, bro. And then Optic wins map one, they blow thieves out on one of their best maps by about 60 points. Don't tell us on Gav. Yeah, all right, bro. And then the next map, Berlin, it's like, okay, they won. They're up 4-1. Like, yeah, okay, it's a 2v2, bombs down. Dashy falls off the map, and it all just goes to hell in a handbasket. And then they lose the next three straight. I'm like, optic? Optic. That's typical optic. Old school. Old school. What y'all new green wall people know about that? The pain of being an optic fan. You'll know nothing about that. Back to the Nate Shot days in 2012, Black Ops 2. All right, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. So on to today's matches. Your time, of course. Tomorrow's match is my time and time of recording. We, of course, will be kicking things off with the winner's finals, where Atlanta Phase will take on the Seattle Surge. Even though it's a different team, I still think Atlanta phase will dominate. I don't know if it'll go to four or five games, but based on how they've been playing this weekend, I think they get it done in four. I think they beat Surge in four this time. I don't think they'll play around with them. And I think that they're really just a different team now. Like the practice that they've been putting in has really, really like turned this team around. Um, I know there's been like rumors circulating about the BZ's practice and stuff, but I can't tell. I mean, it looks like the guy's well-practiced. Um, and then after that, when I'm expecting to be a 3-1, um, we will have, of course, the Toronto Ultra taking on LA Thieves. And I think the Ultra walk away with this one, the crowd's going to be on their side. They've been making the insane run all weekend long, and I don't see that stopping against the LA Thieves. I think the LA Thieves just caught Optic at a really weird time where their confidence was kind of like... Because, you know, I said there was something sus about the team like in yesterday's video. If you go back and watch it, I said there was something sus about this Optic team and a team like LA Thieves that are becoming functional in their dysfunction will likely prey on that if Optic is if Optic makes a mistake and they could win and they probably will. I said Optic's like weird little run that they were having where Scump was like having to play all this hero ball was going to come to an end and it came to an end today. So I was 100% right about that. Um, but with that in mind, I don't think the Thieves are really there yet in comparison to a team like Ultra who look like they could make the grand final of this entire tournament and possibly win it. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to keep my bracket the same with Toronto Ultra getting a 3-2 victory, but this time it's the Minnesota Rocker. I think it's the people that beat the Minnesota Rocker, the LA Thieves, that get 3 2 So I think 3-2 Ultra is the score for elimination round four. And then the elimination finals, that would mean the Ultra plays Seattle. <clears throat> so I think that when Ultra plays Seattle, this is a tough one. I mean, with the way that with the way the Ultra have been playing, it's just hard to count them out. But 
I think Seattle is just in a different league of, of their own as well. Um, the run that they've been making with this tournament has been nothing short of incredible. So I think I'll keep this original result with the team from winners finals falling to elimination finals, winning it and getting back to the grand finals where they will lose five to three to my boys, Lana phase. So that's why I think the tournament ends. Um, hopefully my script comes to fruition. Hopefully I scripted this properly. Uh, yeah. So that'll just all wrap it up for me guys. Hope you enjoyed all the cards today. It was absolutely crazy. If you want a quick recap, I'm thinking three, one in favor phase over the surge. Uh, 3-2 Ultra over the LA Thieves, 3-2 Surge over the Toronto Ultra, and then 5-3 Phase over Surge. So yeah, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment. If you haven't, if you have any different thoughts, let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, that'll just about wrap it up for me. Hope you guys have a great morning, noon, or night, wherever you may be on this beautiful planet. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Once again, this is Chris Fake Sports News, and I'm signing off. Peace.